Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tamriya. Welcome back to Tales of Zestiria. Uh, before I start the video, there was a little update for uh, the game on November 3rd. And if you received the update, it should fix most of the sounds and most of the crashing issues that people have had. The developers of this game are working pretty hard to, you know, release new patches, new content to make sure this game works properly for everybody. Really just to fix things up, just to make sure everybody can enjoy the game properly with the surround sound and everything. So they're still fixing some issues, so bear in mind it will take them a while to fix every issue out there. But one of the issues that I had was actually downloading the new patch. For some reason, my Avira antivirus software found this patch as a Trojan, which makes no absolute sense. So when you're downloading the patch, make sure to disable your antivirus software until the patch is fully downloaded. And then uh, after that, enjoy the game, and hopefully it should not uh, interfere afterwards. I don't know, maybe it's just I need to update my software, or I need to switch from a beer to something that's more reliable and less dumb. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and begin. Let's exit town and take a little stroll around town, and maybe see how Leisha's doing. There's almost no one out. I guess it's still pretty early in the morning. <laughs> You all right? I just felt strange all of a sudden, like a weird pressure was crushing down on my chest. What? You can sense it already? What you're feeling is the malevolence all around us. Now that you've become my vessel, you can sense it. This is proof that your body has already grown accustomed to my power. You don't say. You mean there's really that much malevolence out there, even beyond the city? Indeed. And this is only a taste. As people start to crowd the streets, you'll feel it even more. Come this way. Alright, where are we going? Are we gonna see where the malevolence is coming from, or...? I can see it now, it's like little... Uh, dark dots all over the place that kind of like spurred out. Where's she taking us? Is she taking us to that wheel over there? Maybe. Or the gates, one or the other. Alright, let's go ahead and follow her. Is it just me or the place looks a little more gloomy? I guess it's morning, so I, the colors will be a little weird. Because like the sun is rising, not a lot of people out, so kind of cloudy. Where's she taking us? Where are we going? Guess we're going outside. There she is. Oh, 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 oh. Treasure chest is locked. Okay, so we gotta get a key for this one. This one isn't locked. It's even amber staff. Uh, this can. We can give it to Star Buddy. Yeah, that's what we can do. Let's see, amber staff that can go to. Miklio? Yeah, that will benefit him a lot. Let's go ahead and give it to Miklio. Right? He has Ancient Staff, Amber Staff. Less physical damage, but more magical damage. That's a major improvement. I like that. Let's talk to this guy. Right, that should be the end of the festival cleanup. Back to business as usual. Can't stay in festival mode forever. What can we find? I want to find the key to this thing. Can we smack it? We can't smack it. Oh yeah, because we don't have... Well, do we have a weapon? Well, I forgot if we do. Let me see, do we have a weapon? It's not gonna tell us. Uh, equipment. I'm sorry. We don't have a weapon, never mind. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Wish we had one, but I guess we don't. Let's run around here for a bit. I wanna see what's back here. Maybe we can find a key to open the chest. I know the story is important, and I should probably follow the girl, but I wanna see what's back here. Nothing. Well, that was useless. <laughs> it was worth a try! See where the girl is taking. What's her name, by the way? Layla. Gotcha. Oh man, what a gorgeous lake! It truly is. But amidst the spectacular scenery, the town of Lady Lake is being corrupted by malevolence. Yeah. Now that I can sense it, I can feel the corruption everywhere. We can't let this go on. It isn't just happening here in Lady Lake, either. It's eating away at the entire world. The scenery may be splendid, but you can feel that this place lacks the blessing of the Seraphim, can you not? 
Yeah. In Elysia, I could always feel Gramps' blessing. But here, nothing. But Lila, this little walk of yours isn't just to reconfirm the situation in Lady Lake with us, is it? You've got something to tell us. Yes, I touched on it before, but now I must clarify to you. The true purpose of the Shepherd. The Shepherds can quell the Hellions, beings who bring chaos to humans and Seraphim alike, with the power of purification. That is the power of the Shepherd. However, that in and of itself is not the Shepherd's duty. What the Shepherd must quell is the source of all malevolence, the being who gives rise to the Hellions. The Lord of Calamity. The, the Lord, Lord of Calamity? Calamity? Yes, this figure has been known by this name for countless centuries. Whenever Hellions run rampant, this figure is always there. A Lord of Calamity, who begets Hellions with the overwhelming amount of malevolence he possesses. Given enough time, a Lord of Calamity can even permanently alter the world itself. Such is the Calamity he brings. Wait! If I remember correctly, the Celestial Record said that a Shepherd hasn't appeared for the last 200 years. And 200 years ago, there are records that the world was overcome by an unprecedented calamity. Could there be a connection? I understand. So, the Lord of Calamity is the source of all the malevolence, and it's the duty of the Shepherd to find and put a stop to him. That's all well and good, but where is this guy? For now, it is enough so long as you understand the duty of the Shepherd. Huh? The answers you seek are those you must discover for yourself, Saray. Answers of your own that you will not regret. Stay true to yourself. Forget not your duty, but be not a slave to it either. Answers of my own. And to that end, Saray. I know you want to ask about the effects the Lord of Calamity has on this world, and how Earth Dwellers and Seraphim go about their lives, but... I want you to discern these for yourself. It's true that I'm completely clueless when it comes to just about everything in the world. I want you to travel the world and discover all sorts of things. Only then can you take the answers you have found for yourself and make a stand against the Lord of Calamity. <sighs> it's not that tricky a concept. Pretty much boils down to, hey, Saray, let's take a trip around the world. Yes. Got it. Anyhow, can we start by investigating some food? Talk about Calamity. I'm gonna pass out. Shall we head back to the inn? I don't want to have to carry our shepherd around. Sure. I know this game is awesome and all, but whenever I'm hungry, I don't always have a tendency to scratch my head like he is. I mean, I, everybody has their own quirks, I understand. So I guess I can't really say much. So, Saray is just a very inexperienced person. He cannot find the answers because he doesn't know what the world is like. He hasn't experienced the world for himself because he had never been around the human society. He'd been guarded by the Seraphim for majority of his life. He doesn't know what the world outside is like. And he, in order for him to develop as a human being and, you know, make the answers for himself, he has to grow as a person. And the best way to do that is to see the world around him and experience different things and decide, you know, Is that what a monolith? Yep, that's a monolith. We'll check it out in a bit. To kind of, you know, develop, pretty much develop as a human being, which I think is kind of a cool concept. It appears to be wisdom. Uh, casting seraphic arts leaves you vulnerable to counter attacks, but enemy, enemy hidden art, which needs charging, will not stagger you and will also half the casting speed of a seraphic art. Sweet. That's kind of cool. Also, there's a chest right over there by these people. I want to grab that. Is, is it a locked chest? Probably is. And it's locked. Talk to you. You saw him, right? Oh man, I wish I got to see this the shepherd too. It's not fair. But I'm right behind you. If you want to go look. Alright, I guess you don't wanna. <laughs> Alright. 
Uh, we got also a chest down here. That's a silver chest. Now up there is a bronze chest. So I think we need bronze keys and silver keys. At least I'm guessing. In order to unlock them later in the future. We'll probably collect them from either merchant or from drop. Let's go back over here. And get ourselves some food. You know, I've always wanted to travel the world. But I never imagined it be so important. It's kind of weird. But I can't say I'm not excited. <laughs> I think it's safe to say you're probably the most uh, sheltered shepherd in history. You really think so? Hey, Lila, what kind of people were the other shepherds? Huh? Oh, sorry. I missed what you said. So, what were the other shepherds like? I missed what you said. Lila? Yes? Hiding something? Oh my, isn't this lovely weather? Looks like she doesn't want to talk. Can I ask why you won't answer? I... I have forged an oath with myself. So long as I uphold that oath, I may wield certain extraordinary powers. However, the terms of the oath also prohibit... things. So wait, does that mean there are certain things you can't discuss? By powers, I assume you mean the power of purification? Oh wow, look at the pretty butterfly! You're kind of bad at this, aren't you? Does it really matter? We're traveling the world to find these answers anyway, after all. So we need to go investigate each land's shepherd myths? Yes, yes, yes! That's a thousand percent correct! Can other Seraphim besides you wield the power of purification? We should get back before Saray collapses from hunger and we have to sneak his body through the back alleys. We better get going. Chop chop, no time to waste. The food is probably ice cold by now. <laughs> Let's get going. Clearly she doesn't want us to know something or there's some reason why she can't tell us. So there's probably... Either she What's wants that? us to learn themselves or what? What point of interest? Oh, this? Oh, hello. Lady Lake's Great Water Wheel. Let's see what the dialogue is like. Do they have a dialogue? Nope. They got nothing here, so we just found it, and that's it. Let's talk to you here. How wonderful the water wheel looks in the morning light. I guess. It looks pretty. I like it. What if you ask the landlord in of the inn for food? Let's talk to these two. Or these four, five. How many? <laughs> I didn't sell quite as much as I hoped, I must say. I guess even festivals aren't immune to bad harvest and politics. Well, yeah, I mean, festivals are still social gatherings and... I don't know, makes no sense. Can we go by this guy? Do they have any armor for us to purchase now? We're almost ready to open. Why don't you go get some breakfast? Okay, so clearly the game is telling us, hey, go get food. Go to this inn. Welcome back, kind shepherd. Your meal is waiting for you. Thanks a bunch. All right, let's eat. Phew, that was good. It really hit the spot. <laughs> you ate like a champ. It was delicious. You sure you don't want me to pay for it? Of course I am. Thanks so much, sir. Oh. I have something for you. A gift arrived from Lady Alicia. Huh? What could it be? Huh. It's a letter. My sword. Bags and... clothes? Ah, perfect timing. Don't go get changed. You kind of smell. <laughs> Alright then. Guess we got brand new digs. Let's go see him. Nice! Oh my! Not bad. How about it? It looks fantastic on you, Lord Shepherd. It really does. So dashing. Oh man, I want one. It's the garb of the Shepherd handed down from tradition in Lady Lake. You wear it well. So you can put lipstick on a pig. Just admit it, Miklio. You're jealous. Yeah, you wish. So what's the letter all about? 
Well, let's see. Dear Saray, I was surprised that you fainted so suddenly. I hope your rest at the end was rejuvenating. When I learned that you can communicate with Seraphim, beings of divine nature who cannot be seen by ordinary people. When I saw you draw the sacred blade from the Lady of the Lake and quell the riot at the festival before my eyes. My heart leapt with joy, the likes of which I've never known. The only thing I can think of to tell you is a sincere, heartfelt thanks. I hope you do not find this strange. Though I do think that my true feelings do not come across well in a letter. I know that, as the Shepherd, you are soon to embark on a journey to save the world. But once you are awake, I would like you to come and visit me at my home. P.S. Did you have a chance to try on the clothes I got for you? They're modeled after the traditional garb of the legendary Shepherd. I hope they are to your liking. My, what a kind-hearted young woman. Yeah, seriously. I should be the one who's thanking her. Why not do it in person, then? Good idea. Let's move. Come back and see us again, kind shepherd. You bet I will. We will. Oh my god, this thing is brilliant everything. I like it. Look at this. <laughs> we <laughs> Man, these clothes offer more mobility than I thought. They look purely ceremonial at first glance, but it turns out they're practical. Quite so. Perfect for the journey we're about to undertake. Yeah, definitely. Uh, should we go by the store first, or... Uh, I think I'm gonna go by the store on the way out, so let's go find Alicia. Let's see, I think she's in... Uh, she's in Noble District. I believe. Let's go this way. I think she might be there. Maybe. Either that, she's in the main castle. It looks like all the hype from the festival settled down. Hmm. I can guide... She's not anywhere here, so I'm guessing I'm gonna go to the Lady of the Link Sanctuary first. If not there, I'll try the Noble District. But now everyone's talking about the Shepherd. Yep, well, I mean, we're the big talk of the town. Why not talk about us? Okay, let's go in here first. She might be here, or might be in Noble District. One or the other. I know this is just a pass. Uh, this is like, this, I mean, this is just a temple. That's it. Oh, look at that monolith. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. Hit points. Okay, I already know about hit points. I don't need to know about that. AP increase, though. That's nice. Let's check this first. And if she's not here, we'll just check the Noble District. Is she here? No, she's not. Never mind then. Some people over there. We'll talk to them later. Let's go to the Noble District and see what they got for us there. And then we should stop by a shop and maybe get weapons. That's the only thing I'm thinking of. Maybe just get a brand new weapon. That's kind of, no, well, do we have the sword? Do we have the new sword or do we have the the sword that we already have? Let's see, equipment. Ancient sword, never mind, we have the ancient sword, so we don't really need the new equipment for this. Uh, what about Le Lila? Is she equipped properly? We can maybe get her something else. Alright, well, let's go over here to the Noble District and find Alicia. Alright, which city are you oh wait oh that oh that house over there okay sweet so that was the her house before nice let's go over there and say a big thanks to her for the new clothes and everything else and hopefully i'm hoping she joins the party because i mean i feel like so ray and her are gonna become you know the romance couple towards the end or somewhere in the middle of the entire game and i kind of want to see that happen Shepherd, have you need of Lord Alicia? She's on the terrace as we speak. Thanks. I'll see if I can find her. So is she not? Oh no, she is somewhere here. Oh, there she is. Hey, Alicia. Saray, you came. Alicia, the shepherd's garb looks wonderful on you. Thanks. Some fine lipstick on that pig. Yes, Miklio. We all know your opinion. What? Pigs are nice. I, uh, I take it there's a seraph present with you? If I told you there was, would you believe me? 
To be honest, up until the events that took place at the Sacred Blade Festival this year, I wouldn't have. But even from the moment we met, I could tell... How can I put it? There was something... Something... different about you. Uh, <laughs> well, she's right, you know. Right here is a Seraph. His name is Miklio. Please, find it in your grace to forgive my rudeness up until now, Seraph Miklio. Rudeness? You've never struck me as rude. Oh, he's blushing. He says you've never done anything to offend him. And this here is Lila. She's the one everyone calls the Lady of the Lake. I truly believe in my heart that you were meant to become the Shepherd. Whereas I, I mean all of us here in the city, can be standing right next to Seraphim, and still not know. That's not quite true. She can't hear you. Saray, try taking Alicia's hand in your own. Huh? Oh, sure. Alicia, give me your hand. Like this? Testing, testing. Check one, check two. Can you hear me? Hello? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay then. Saray, try closing your eyes. Testing, testing. Alicia, can you hear me now? It's still no good. This time, close your eyes and also hold your breath. Alicia? I can hear it. Another woman's voice. Really? Alicia, we Seraphim are able to see right into the very hearts of humans. Remember to show gratitude to all things. It is in exchange for this gratitude that we offer our blessing. No matter the circumstances, never neglect the Seraphim, or your heart shall turn to malevolence, and this in turn shall bring calamity. Fear not, Alicia. We have indeed seen your gratitude for ourselves. <gasps> Saray, one more time. Yeah. Isn't there a better way to do this? I'm afraid this is the only method we have for now. Once you've grown more accustomed to my power and have amassed more experience as both a vessel and a shepherd, I believe such a strict sensory block will not be required. So, does that mean once I do grow stronger as a shepherd, everyone will be able to hear the Seraphim? As for Alicia, she already possessed a natural resonance from birth. Though nowhere near as much as you, Saray. I see. Looks like it's not that simple. Regardless, I was able to have a conversation with her. I now have no doubts that the Seraphim do indeed live among us. And that alone... Gets you excited? Yes! The legends are no mere fairy tales. Okay! Alicia, we're going to stay in town for a while yet. Let me know if you need anything. Take care! I will. You too. Um, Saray? Looks like our explorer is all fired up.
I guess we didn't go already. Relax, those ruins aren't going anywhere. What? How do you know what I was thinking about, Miklio? Didn't I tell you I wasn't gonna let you go off by yourself? So what's the plan? Let's have another look around town. There's gotta be a clue around here somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we're gonna be discovering something around town to give us a way to, you know, some kind of sense of direction. So we already got to see Alicia. That was actually kind of kind of nice. So she has some sort of like resonance, just not as strong as what Soray has with the Seraphim. Maybe her family is connected in a bloodline at a certain point, who knows? Maybe is she just very religious or spiritual? I don't know. <laughs> nothing, nothing has been answered so far, but I'm just gonna let it be for now. There's something over there by the shop that we gotta do. Oh, yeah! The one girl did tell us to come by her shop at one time. Maybe she might have a discount for us or something. Yep, that's her. That's her over there. And the people that wanted to buy a sword. And, uh... Miklio prepared gooey stuff. Thanks, Miklio. <laughs> hey, this is the guy who sold me the pipe. Oh yeah, I heard about you. If we were to take that pipe from you for just thousand gold, we'd look like we have serious celebrity, uh, credibility issues, and we don't want that. We prepared a pretty hefty sum in addition for you in that there box. Take it with you. Oh, that's awesome of them. Let's check this. Ten gallon hat, not bad. Headwear for a while, but nice guy. May include bullet holes. Okay. It's not quite as swanky as the pipe of yours, but it's good vintage look. I'm sure you'll dig. Hope you'll do business with us again. Sounds good. Can we buy anything from them? Sparrow feathers wish you well. Sparrow feathers wish you well. Never mind. They got nothing. Can she say anything? Oh, you're the one who was having problems with the festival, right? But never mind. They already forgot about us. Don't care about us anymore. Uh, what else can we do around here? Which probably, I, I kind of wish you would join us in the city. You know, we could go to the local aqueducts. We haven't been to the outside of the aqueducts yet. Hmm. And let's check out the shrine first, right? Let's go into the shrine or the Lady Lake. What is it called? Uh, sanctuary. Let's go to the sanctuary first. I want to see. If he missed out anything here. No, we didn't. Let's talk to you real quick. Hello, father. Let me apologize for my son causing mischief. I gave him a right good scolding. You can be sure of that. We all square, right? Alright. Well, good thing that parents are still, you know, scolding their children. <laughs> what else can we do around here? I kind of... I kind of want to come back to Alicia to make sure that she can join our party. Eh, whatever. I think she will join our party later in the future. I don't know, I want her to be part of our party, I want the confirmation to know that yes, she will join our party eventually and we'll be able to fight alongside her or something, or just adventure in general. I've been, I have, no, I haven't been, well no, I've been to the outside of the aqueduct, so let's go there first, see what we can do, maybe there's something there for us to grab, quest-wise. Oh. Now I've grasped this area is quite well. Watch it. There's someone suspicious afoot. Is it a turtle hellion? The hell do you mean turtles hellion? I'm just a turtles. Turtles? So wait a minute. Are they seraphim? Turtles are turtles. Can't you tell from looking at us? Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, brave new world that has such turtles in it. Ain't you ever seen a turtles before? No. What are you, some bumpkins? Well, lucky for you guys, we turtles are a forgiven bunch. Well, thank you. <laughs> you guys sure are kind. Of course. The big heartedness of the turtles is proportional to the size of our shells. And what were you doing here? I'm making maps for our purposes. Oh, maps! Come to think of it, we don't have any decent maps. The one in the Celestial Record is quite old. You guys sure are reckless. Says, can I sell you some of my maps? They're chock full of useful informations. Thanks, it's a big help. 
Now it's cost 100 gold. Uh, I think we had 1,000 gold. Oh. How much gold do we have? I have no idea. Let's buy one. Thank you. I'm darn pleased that you bought my maps. You bought a map of adventure from the turtles. These maps will add more geographical information to your world. Since they are written from a turtle's point of view, there may be some discrepancies, but you should be able to roughly locate new places you haven't visited yet. If you're ever lost, track down the turtles in the nearest town and try purchasing their map. Sounds good. Got an adventurer's map. And, oh, we got another location on how we can start another quest. We got more people to talk to. What else can we do around here? There's nothing up here. I guess let's start this quest over here. He didn't respond when the roll call was taken. You don't think he's still down there in the waterway, do you? An underground waterway. Sounds worth looking into. All so right. one of them hasn't returned yet. Wonder if he's okay. And that's how we start our quest, I guess. Let's go help out. Are you going? Yeah, I'm worried about anyone who isn't coming back. Saray. Guess that's how we start side quests. We got a... looks like a dungeon. Let's go enter it. See what's inside. You can feel it, can't you? I can. There's definitely strong malevolence coming from the center of town. I must say, your ability is indeed impeccable. It looks like you're acclimating to your power already, far faster than I'd even imagined. I am? The day when you will come into the true power of the Shepherd is not far off. What kind of power is that? Oh, sorry about that. You were saying? Well, wow. we'll find out soon enough. Yep. So she can't tell us about the power. She can't tell us anything whatsoever. Wow, she's a useless seraphim. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go ahead and save around here. Let's make a new save. There we go. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. In the next episode, we'll continue with discovering what this place is all about. Looks like they got... Why do we to go here in order to complete this dungeon? So that should be kind of fun, you know, fighting in our first dungeon outside of our home. Hope you enjoyed the episode. My name is Samriel. Like, subscribe, and as always, have a great day. See ya.